Hey, this is Sean Menard from Eau Claire. Uh, tonight I was down at Scooter's Bar in Eau Claire and some Eau Claire police officer that's been stalking me since uh, 2017 approximately approached me. He rubbed up against me and held me there when I was trying to get a Coke. And uh, I don't know why he keeps contacting me. Every time he contacts me, I've said to him per Wisconsin statute 946.75, I have contacted attorney Earl Gray at personal expense. When you say that to a police officer, even if you get pulled over after putting your window down, even not a quarter inch with your license, proof of insurance and registration through the window, all you have to say and do not face them in case you are drunk is I am contacting my attorney, their name. So if it's Earl Gray, you'd say this. I am contacting my attorney at personal expense or I'm excuse me. I am contacting my attorney Earl Gray at personal expense. That's all you say. So always remember. I am calling my enter attorney's name, so Earl Gray, at personal expense. You must always say at personal expense. And then remain silent. Um, and then, uh, in theory, you should get away with that OWI. Uh, the police had pulled me over once in my BMW, and I had done just the thing. I guess they did not believe that I had uh, actually contacted Earl Gray when I had done so. Um, the OWI was dismissed because I wasn't even drunk. <laughs> So the Eau Claire County Sheriff's Department over on Pomona Drive by that Alcoholics Anonymous Center um, had about eight to 10 county sheriffs. Uh, they put me in sight because they thought remaining silent, silent apparently is a mental illness. I, I guess I, that's new to me. Only in Eau Claire, right? <laughs> I guess you can shoot a black person in Eau Claire at the Culver's drive through too and you don't go to jail. So um, yeah, so hopefully as a gay Republican, I'll be able to make some changes for other gay people, other African American people, anybody. Let's just say people because there's no difference. So tonight I'm going to show you my new night vision. So whoever's creeping outside my door when I'm outside and then I go back in and call ADT security and then the truck or whatever they're driving here starting up. Uh, now I have my night vision. I also am waiting for my thermal imager. To show up. Uh, it's a thermal image camera. It uh, can detect if there's someone hiding inside a car or anything like that if you just gotta walk the dog by. Um, I also have a body camera coming and I have a police uh, audio recording apparatus. Uh, so I've got a lot of things uh, that I have. So I have the audio recording apparatus. I've had that for a while. But uh, the body camera is a 4K body camera. The Eau Claire police only have a 1080 HD. So this will really catch that criminal or whoever it is stalking me and it'll get very, very high definition, like 4K. So if they've got a knife, oh, it'll get that knife. And the sad thing about uh, the criminals is this, that the police can't do anything until the knife is in you. And that's sad. And that uh, doesn't give me much peace of mind. So that's why I have all the security equipment. It's for safety. And you should consider getting some of this equipment for yourself too. Um, I am an owner of the domestic abuse shelter called Real Safe Place. It's a for-profit uh, domestic abuse shelter, so you'd have to pay you know, a daily fee and you'd have to pay to talk to a counselor and all that through your insurance. Um, but other than that, uh, I'll definitely show everyone some uh, apparatuses I have to keep people safe. And uh, also, who's kept me safe is God. He's always watching over everyone. So. Don't ever deny that there's God out there because <laughs> there had to have been God in my life. I've been through so much.